and gentlemen, the pleb is back. In today's report, Justin Trudeau put out a picture this week of him holding a hammer backwards and the entire internet ridiculed him. As well, tonight, the farmers are protesting in Alberta, having taken over the streets of Edmonton. As well, Stoner Guy is back with another rant on the hypocrisy of Trudeau's carbon tax. You won't want to miss tonight's story. Stick around. Before we start tonight's report, folks, please double check if you're still subscribed. I'm still receiving hundreds of comments underneath my videos of people saying they were unsubscribed from this channel against their own will. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, smash the subscribe button. So I'm going to tell you the news the mainstream media won't. Tonight's report is going to kick off once again with Justin Trudeau embarrassing himself all over the internet. This week in Canada, Justin Trudeau was out promoting his Soviet-style home-building program here in Canada, and in true Justin Trudeau fashion, of course he had to pose for a photo op. And if you zoom in here, Justin Trudeau is holding the hammer backwards. Now, Justin Trudeau, not knowing how to hold a hammer properly, comes to no surprise to the real men in this country, as Justin Trudeau has been a silver spoon-fed trust fund kid who has never worked a hard day of labor in his entire life. But the fun part when Justin Trudeau embarrasses himself like this is the internet always brings the gold. Let's go scroll around X and see how the internet responded to Trudeau's hammer picture. Famous ex-user Cat Turd used this opportunity to roast both Joe Biden and Justin Trudeau. Joe Biden for not knowing how to wear a hard hat and for Trudeau not knowing how to hold a hammer. And in what seems to be a weekly occurrence here in Canada, Justin Trudeau once again makes it onto the clown world page of him holding a hammer with the caption, you can tell the man has never held a hammer in his soft hands. Facts. Even Sask Lass got in on the fun here, saying, now we know how he got that mark on his forehead. It all makes sense now. And you want to know what else is wild about this whole situation? Even members of parliament got in on the roasting on Trudeau's handling of a hammer. From MP Kevin Vuong here writing, what a visual. Where the hammerhead is used to nail and build, the claw is used to pull nails out. What an apt visual for how the state of the housing has collapsed under Justin Trudeau's watch. Or maybe he's just never had to use a hammer and is unfamiliar with it. Of course he's never used a hammer. And of course with any viral embarrassment from Justin Trudeau, the memes started flowing in and they are absolutely great. The first meme of the night comes from Chris Colbicki Jr. who took the picture of Trudeau holding the hammer backwards, destroying a wall saying, look Canada, we're building homes. Perfect. George Hampton had this meme here with a Pierre Polyev bring it home shirt on the guy posing with Justin Trudeau. Let's zoom in on his face here. Does this guy not look like an actual hostage? Look at his face. Did he lose a bet to like his coworkers that he had to be the guy that took the picture with Trudeau? Or did his boss tell him, if you don't take this picture, you're fired? Because that's what I think. Even I got in on the memes and I made this one here saying, this is exactly how I expect men who sit this way to hold a hammer. I think it's pretty accurate. Even the women were making a mockery of Justin Trudeau for not knowing how to hold a hammer. My good pal Cat Canada got in on the action and made a video explaining to Trudeau how to use a hammer. <laughs> for Justin Trudeau's benefit, I'm going to demonstrate how to properly hold a hammer, okay? So <laughs> this is the grip. You place your hand on the grip and these are the two sides. This is the sharp side, which is used for prying off nails. So you, you know, wedge it in and pull it out. And this here is the blunt flat edge right here. See, that part is the part that hammers in the nail. So let me demonstrate. See, let's pretend this is a nail here. So we use this flat part of the hammer to 
point down towards the nail that's facing <laughs> the wood, and then you just oops, tap it in. Okay, so that concludes this demonstration of how to properly hold a hammer flat side facing down to bang the nail in. Bang, bang, bang. I hope that helps, Justin. After getting roasted, I'll bet anything that Justin Trudeau absolutely blasted his staff at the PMO, asking them why they gave him the left-handed hammer. This is how clueless he is. In all seriousness, Justin Trudeau has used a hammer before. At a photo op in 2015, when Justin Trudeau was in front of the press using a hammer, and it's the saddest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my God. Those are the softest taps I have ever seen. He is so feminine. No offense to women. I'm sure you can use a hammer much better than he can. This is just sad. Zoom in here. Oh my God. <laughs> you can tell he's never used a hammer in his life. Oh my gosh. This dude definitely hammers like a girl. And this week, Justin Trudeau had another clip go viral where he showed his disgust of the working class and people who actually know how to hold a hammer properly when he went and called working class Canadians overalled folks. Watch this. A few years ago, I was in Hamilton in a classic steel plant and I was meeting you know, some of those you know, overall folks. What? What What did he call them? What did he call working class Canadians? Rewind that. You know, some of those you know, overall folks. Uh, wow. Overall folks. This is what he thinks of working class Canadians. You're all slaves. You're all peasants. He's the king. He literally hates you. Oh, yeah. And by the way, Justin, nice non-heterosexual socks there for the record. Unbelievable who were proud to say that they were third and even fourth generation steel workers. Look, look at the people in this room here with him. They're like, he just said something stupid again. Even look at this guy here <laughs> in the corner. Oh my God. They know, they know Justin just said something stupid again and it's going to go viral on social media. Well, I think it's official. Justin Trudeau really has contempt and hates working class Canadians. You see this guy on the screen here? Mr. It ain't much, but it's honest work. These are the type of dudes Justin Trudeau absolutely despises. And the reason Justin Trudeau despises the overall folks is because these are the people that protested him at the Freedom Convoy. These are the farmers that are protesting him all over Canada right now. And these are the folks that are currently protesting the carbon tax. And over in Alberta, it's day six of the carbon tax protests. And Rachel Emanuel was on the ground and she's reporting that there was over 500 people protesting on day six. Look at these cars. These are all protesters here. Ah, the camper. Look at those Canadian flags. Is that not refreshing after seeing all these Palestine flags every weekend in Canada to see actual Canada flags at protests again? Love it. Look how many people there are. <laughs> Damn. The place is packed. And there's trucks. They have tents for food as well. This is cool, man. And even cooler than that, at this protest, there's a lady riding her horse around with an upside down Canadian flag. Watch. The government decides <laughs> to remove them, but by and large, they just sit there. They're just, some of them are but just that never just gives them That is so cool, man. People, and we don't need that. How You're Canadian? Right. Zoom in here. decides to remove them, but by and large, they just sit there. They're just, some of them are just that is just so cool. Them a, a reason to hire more people. And Wicked we stuff. And even funnier than that, the protesters brought something over to the protests that is surely going to make the left lose their bloody minds. Look at this. They brought back the bouncy castles to this protest in Alberta. Incoming liberal meltdown in three, two, one. 
And over in Edmonton, on day seven of the carbon tax protest, blue-collar Canadians were seen sitting on barrels of hay here with Axe the Carbon Tax written on it. And if you zoom in a little closer, you can see they have a Trump 2024 flag. Cue another liberal meltdown. <laughs> So that's the latest on the carbon tax protests. Now let's take things over to the farmers protests. And this Canadian farmer has a message for Justin Trudeau. In Springbank Hill outside of Calgary, a farmer put this in his field here. Another F Trudeau sign for people flying over to see. I think this is like the third or the fourth farmer to do this in Alberta, and it just never stops being funny. And over in Edmonton, Canadian farmers were out protesting Justin Trudeau's carbon tax and rolling around Edmonton in a convoy. Watch. Hong Kong. Wow. I love seeing the Canadian flags. Oh, there's more. They actually hit the downtown core, eh? Good stuff, man. Awesome. So just this week, we had Quebec farmers protesting the carbon tax. We now have Alberta farmers protesting the carbon tax. Who is going to be next? Let me know in the comments. And in our last feature of the night, I reached out to Stoner Guy two days ago. I said, Stoner Guy, we need a video talking about the carbon tax protests and the carbon tax in general. And Stoner Guy delivered as he put out this absolute beauty of a video that is going viral on X here with 2000 likes. Let's go see what Stoner Guy has to say about the carbon tax protests. Oh, Justin. I know you've been struggling to have your carbon tax message resonate with Canadians, and I've been thinking about maybe why that is. Uh, and maybe it's because it's a price on pollution that doesn't reduce pollution. All you're doing is making Canadians pay for other countries to pollute more. Hmm. I, I thought the need for carbon emission reductions is so dire that our very survival is at stake. The, like the climate crisis isn't like your sex life. You can't have it both ways. <laughs> Canada emits one. <laughs> He's so savage. Crisis isn't like your sex life. You can't have it both ways. Canada emits 1.6% of man-made emissions, and you're probably the 0.6 part. China is north of 30%. What's the plan if they don't come through? I mean, if you're... If you'll bring out your army of mindless eunuchs armed with military-style assault weapons for a bunch of peaceful Canadians who protest your world-saving tax, what are you going to do when China just tells you to go fuck yourself and they keep <laughs> building coal plants? Uh, are, are, are we going to go to war or you just freeze their bank account? Maybe you and a thousand other millionaires can fly your private jets to Davos and put together a strongly worded statement. Like, what's the plan if the countries who are actually doing the polluting don't stop polluting? I, I mean, I know we can trust China to do the right thing. Uh, I, and I know what you'll say, that just because we're only a small part of those emissions doesn't mean that we don't do anything. But it also means that regardless of what we do, if they don't do, your climate crisis is going to happen anyway, and Canadians are going to die. Devastating floods uncontrollable wildfires, rising sea levels, agricultural annihilation. They likely won't even have electricity because I doubt those windmills are built to withstand the unprecedented storms we're about to see. Uh, that's what we keep getting told is coming. And your solution is to make Canadians pay a fucking tax that may or may not even help reduce our tiny contribution to emissions. You don't actually know because you don't even track the data. Like, that's how important this tax is to fighting the ultimate climate catastrophe. Not infrastructure, not healthcare or forest management. We need a, a tax 
on people for not freezing to death. Your solution for Canadians uh, to preserve their way of life is to take away of their way of life until there's nothing left but to sit around their heat pumps eating their 3D printed spam with a recyclable wooden spoon. All while they watch you fly two planes to Ukraine six times a week so you and Zelensky can put on matching tights and perform interpretive dance numbers on the CBC. Your solution to the climate crisis is for you to keep polluting the fuck out of the planet while telling cold and hungry Canadians it's about changing their behaviors to make the world a better place for everyone. At least you're consistent. You treat taxpayers the same way you treat reporters. You just keep putting your greedy fucking hands where they don't belong. And then when they call you out on it, you tell them that it's their fault. Stoner guy is the only guy I've ever seen smoke weed and come out with more coherent thoughts after smoking weed. I mean, this guy is a genius. We love the stoner guy over on this channel. And I got a surprise for you guys. Stoner guy is supposed to come visit me in this studio in the near future. So look out for that episode because stoner guy is going to pay us a visit. All right, guys, we are near the end here. I want you to tell me in the comments, what did you guys think of Justin Trudeau's handling of the hammer? I want to see some funny comments down below as well. The carbon tax protests. Were you guys there? Are you guys supporting them? Do you guys support the Canadian farmers? Tell me in the comments down below. All right, guys, that's a wrap here for today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, like it, share it, buy a membership to this channel. You know what? I don't even care. Don't do any of those things. I am actually thankful that you watch my videos and you support this channel. It means the world to me. And let me tell you what, the majority of people don't make it to the end of the video. So if you're one of the real ones who made it to the end, I'm going to put this Christia Freeling clip back in that you guys enjoyed so much. See you guys tomorrow. Mm. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Ow, 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 show them girl, yeah, boom, boom, ba, 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 boom, 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 ba, 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 boom, boom, ba, 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 boom, boom, ah, ow, grrrr. Pop, 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 boom, boom, ah, yes. <laughs>